Hello everyone, welcome back to the Scrap and Stamp YouTube channel. It's Jess here, and today we're gonna break a few rules and create a one-layered card with the magic of masking. Let's dive right in. I'm gonna start by creating an A2 size stitched rectangle with Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock. And I'm gonna plan out our scene with my Misty, and we're gonna stamp all the images with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Yes, you heard that right. We're gonna be doing some ink blending, but we're not gonna reach for our usual VersaFine Onyx Black ink. We're gonna try something different. Because this is a one-layered card and I wanted to color in the images with tri-blend markers, I had to make some decisions. You can see on the right-hand side, I did a little test and it worked. So come along for the ride. These sweet images are from MFT's Weather With You and it comes with the perfect sentiment, no one stacks up to you. And now it's time to get inky. So I'm just gonna secure the stencil in place with some washi tape. Before we reach for our oxides, we're gonna have to protect our images. Off camera, I created masks for each of these cuties with Heffy Memo Tape. Now that all the images are protected, I'm gonna grab another piece of Heffy Memo Tape to create a grass line. I wanted a whimsical effect, so I reached for a cracked pistachio. And I'm gonna carefully apply color using my Tailored Expressions blender brush. I love how quick and easy the scene comes together and the Heffy Memo Tape is perfect for separating your colors. And now for the reveal, and I can use the other side of the Heffy Memo Tape to protect our grass line. And to start our sky, I reached for Shaded Lilac. And now I'm going to reach for sponge sugar and carefully blend them together. And last but not least, picked raspberry. I love how seamless the oxides blend together and you can keep on adding layers and building up color until you're completely happy with the blend. And now we can check our work. So while I was creating, I noticed that there is a white line between where the grass ends and the sky starts. So I simply just moved the memo tape slightly down and added color. A perfect fix and no one had to know. And now I'm gently gonna peel away the stencil and grab a craft knife to remove our memo tape. Today is full of fun reveals. And they came out perfectly. And now we're gonna add some color. I reached for my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers and we're gonna start from the darkest color to the lightest color. For our scene today, I wanted to keep it really, really simple. So I reached for only a handful of colors. We're gonna be using our Ice Gray Shades, the Coral Blend, and IG1. When I'm coloring small images like this, I like to kind of find where I think the areas would be shaded and start there. Then I'll move on to the medium color and finally the lightest color. And now I'm going to add some of the coral blend to their little ears and cheeks. If you happen to get some color outside the lines, it's as easy as grabbing your blender pen and pushing the color back into place. If any of the surface areas happen to be white, I like to reach for my IG1 to add in some shading. For a few added last minute details, I'm gonna reach for my Copic Multiliner for freckles and the orange blend for the beaks on the penguins. I'm gonna reach for my Misty once again and stamp a sentiment directly on the card front. And of course, no card is complete without sequins. And here's our card. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.